Today's video story is called Elmer in the Snow. This is also written by David McKee. Elmer in the Snow. One time the teachers had a little party and um, we decorated the teacher's lounge and they used these napkins. And I thought to myself, it looks just like Elmer. And then I, there was a snowflake that I glued right on there. Elmer in the snow. One morning, Elmer the patchwork elephant met a group of elephants who didn't look very happy. What's the matter? asked Elmer. What's the matter is that it's cold, said one of the elephants. That's what's a matter. It's not really cold, said Elmer. It's just a bit cooler than usual. What you need is a good walk to warm you up. Come on, come with me. Elmer led the elephants in a direction they didn't normally go. They went steeply upward and the elephants soon were puffing with effort. I'm very warm now. Thank you, Elmer, said one of the elephants. Shall we go back now? Not yet, said Elmer. Keep going. After they had gone further, an elephant said, Elmer, look at the trees. They're different here. That's because we're up so high, said Elmer. Come on, there's something else I want to show you. A little later, the elephants came into an open spot. They stared at the sight. Everything was white. Snow, they shouted. Although they had heard about snow, this was the first time they had actually seen any. The elephants roared with laughter as they rushed to play in it. It's really cold, called one. Cold, but fun. Come look at this, called Elmer. He was sliding on an ice of a pond, on the ice of a pond that had frozen solid. One by one, the others cautiously joined him. Soon the elephants were slipping and sliding and crashing and falling and really enjoying themselves. They didn't notice that Elmer had sneaked away. The elephants forgot all about Elmer until they heard a voice nearby. Help, help, I'm frozen solid. The elephants stopped playing and hurried to find Elmer. To their dismay, there stood a white elephant. He has frozen, he's frozen solid, gasped one of the elephants. Then he touched the white elephant and a piece of it fell out. It was made of snow, he said. I know where Elmer is, chuckled another. He pointed to a line of footprints in the snow. Come on. The elephants followed the line of footprints, but before they reached him, Elmer appeared and with a laugh, he started throwing snowballs. It wasn't long before all the elephants were throwing snowballs at each other. It's starting to snow quite hard, said Elmer after a while. It's time for us to go. Still laughing and playing with the snow falling all around them, the elephants hurried back to the trees and then on home.
When they finally reached home again, one of the elephants said, Snow is fun, but it's really cold. Yes, said another, it's nice to be back where it's warm. Elmer said nothing. He just smiled. Here's the blizzard that they left. Now, there's a little science project I used to do with the, with the kids in first grade after we read this story. And it's kind of fun if you'd like to try it at home. Have you ever put your hot hands in lukewarm water? It actually feels cold. But if you put co your cold hands in lukewarm water, it actually feels hot. So try this, try, try and get your hands nice and warm, maybe in the sun, and have your mom get some lukewarm water. So that's, it's not cold and it's not hot, it's, it's warm. And put your hand in it, it feels cool. Then get your hand cold, maybe put it in your refrigerator for a little while and get your hand cold. Put it in that same temperature of lukewarm water and all of a sudden it feels hot. This is called that it feels relative to, to how your hand feels. So if your hand is hot, lukewarm water feels cool. If your hand is cold, lukewarm water feels warm or hot. So that's a little science project that's called relativity.